Long Beach was a big step forward for us in our performance, meaning we had a high-ranked opponent, highly skilled, and we had some guys step up. Some pieces of the puzzles came out. Uh, I thought Slot came out and tapped into his potential from the service line for sure. And then he also had uh, like three or four blocks, which were legitimate, great move, good read blocks, which that's something in from our uh, – Area 4 blocking crew we've been needing for quite some time is that presence. So I'm hoping that uh, he stepped forward in that regard and made a monster gain, and that's something that he can just add to the repertoire. Um, I thought that we as a team passed really well in an adverse environment because depth perception in the pyramid is a little problematic. And it, you know, it's a, it's a great home court advantage, but the guys that we had out there passing an outside hitter, I thought, handled the ball really well. We passed at a high level, so it gave us a chance to run a good offense. And we showed signs of, um, I want to say the word consistency, because if you're not doing it consistently across the board and maintaining that level, then you're putting yourself in an adverse situation. But it showed signs of, or we showed signs of adding to the number of consistent good plays we were putting together. We also made some really good runs. We got down a couple times, but then fought our way back. So we're seeing some signs of exactly what we're looking for from the Trojan volleyball team. From a leadership perspective, I know last week that was something you were still kind of finding out about this team, but what have the last two matches showed you, if anything? Well, the guys that we have as captains have been doing a great job, and enabling other people to have voices has been uh, proving fruitful, meaning... We're starting to get from the top down a lot of guys who know and have that experience of saying, hey, listen, this is where we are. This is what we need to do. And the more voices we have promoting exactly what the culture is and what's expected and what's the standard, you know, it's just, it's great when you have player driven, um, I don't want to say uh, critiques, but, you know, you can give as many coach on ones as you want for a guy who doesn't want to go for the ball. But if your entire team starts saying, hey, you got to get, you got to go for the ball, it has another weight, another presence, and a more powerful that promotes, okay, this is just how we do it. So we're getting way more of that going on in the gym. And it's been a progression. It's been an enabling and a, you know, itemizing of, hey, you need to have this voice. You are this voice, but you haven't been using it. And it doesn't matter what's happening. It has to be consistent. You also have to be the standard barrier bearer for this. So as coaches, we've identified those guys, and we've been actively enabling those guys to step forward and, and, and take on that role. Um, having a couple of those key guys be injured has been a little bit, I don't want to say a setback per se, but when you're doing therapy and everyone else is working hard and playing, it takes away from your ability to step out there and, and just mentor people because you're actually doing it. So we've been bridging those gaps. UCSB Thursday tonight, yes. UCLA at UCLA Saturday. The schedule really doesn't get any easier for you guys, but what type of competition is this? Obviously, you have to play at a high level, but at UCLA too, you're going to have that atmosphere on top of it. You know, I've always loved electric atmospheres. The more adversarial it is, the more focused you should get. The way, you know, whether they're number one or Santa Barbara's number eight, however you want to position it, I, I've always loved playing to the challenge. I've always loved having that against us and just see what we're made of, see what we can bring to the table. Um, I always love playing people who brought the best out in, a, in someone else. Like when I played against the Italian national team, I'm playing against the MVP of the Olympics, and the guy was just phenomenal. It was a rare privilege and an honor to go against him. And in that particular instance, he absolutely crushed me. But it also showed me well, I need to raise things up. I need to do more. We've had uh, Andy and Slot and Malahi over the summer play international volleyball and they came away just floored by number one the variance of how things can be done but also just the next level mentality and it made them open their eyes and realize that listen we've got to step up and so we've got a lot of guys that when we play these opponents we're learning and, and gaining the experience and I mean, I, I, I would love to have the IOI. It has to happen right now, but I also understand that it's a process where 
we're maturing these guys and getting them ready and competing at a high level and constantly adding more and more and more. And we're going to get over the hump pretty quickly.